Hi, it's Patrice. So, um, another thing that has happened that um, I wasn't very happy about at all was I ended up um, blocking somebody that's fairly new to me. And, sh and um, I didn't want to, well, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I have this, I love people and I'm, I'm, I guess I'm long suffering with um with people but i am getting to a point in my um as i like move along in um recovering from my mother's stuff i'm realizing i'm like you know if my mother doesn't get a pass to have this volatile temperament and just you know do whatever whenever nobody does like nobody <laughs> so, I love my mother so <laughs> I'm not gonna have somebody brand new coming in and they get to you know act a fool and stuff so I believe like on social media when you have your wall or your page or whatever you call it um that's kind of like your living room area I told my um my one of my favorite midwives this years ago I say listen your your Facebook wall is like your living room. Would you let me come into your living room? Look at how you've decided to decorate the place. And I'm like, you know what, Carla? I don't like that. We're going to change that right there. We're going to put that up. Put this up and do this. And, you know, like, no. So I was like, you know, like, if I don't like it, I can just go on about my business. <laughs> I don't need to change anything in your home you know and she took that and ran with it too so that's how i think of it though and so when i see my friends when my friends post things that i don't agree with because i literally have friends from so many different um walks of life and when i see things that they post that i don't agree with or like or maybe even like maybe um give me a little like pause and make me feel angry or whatever I keep on going. <laughs> I don't have to respond. <laughs> and hey, people, like, I, I think people's, uh, so many people's emotional intelligence is so minuscule. They feel like, like the woman I, I mentioned before in another, in another video about having, like, feeling like she needed to, like, not let white people be comfortable. Like, why are you in charge of that? Who are you? You know, like, and and you're not going to change people's minds when you're so combative and like, you know, nasty, you know, nobody's going to hear you, you know. And so I'd rather not waste my time for for several reasons. One, I don't want to um, I don't know. I value people and I value the input put that they have in my life as well as what I know I can bring to theirs. And I don't want to ruin that by acting stupid unnecessarily. Now, if I'm asked directly about whatever, yeah, I'm going to tell you because I'm not afraid, you know, or anything like that. And, um, but I'm not, I'm not stupid, you know? And, and conversely, I've seen a few posts where, like one friend was talking about um, how uh, he's black. A white friend of his said something to him about how she gets the whole Black Lives Matter movement now. And so he was just talking about that. And I wrote, I don't, I don't have it in front of me. Anyway, I wrote, um, I shared with him a picture of something that another friend of mine um posted where she talked about how Jesus with the sheep with the 99 how he left the 99 for the one because the one was in trouble they explained black lives matter in that way and I was like I like this and I agree with the, the sentiment of leaving the 99 for the one because they were like you know like it's the one that was in trouble you know not the 99 and also yes all hundred matter but it was the one that was in the trouble so you know all that you get it 
hopefully. <laughs> so I was like, while I like that illustration and I agree with the sentiment, I don't, I just don't feel like the movement, if it started from a good place, I don't feel like it's still there. I feel frankly like we're all being played. I really do. And like, you know, take it or leave it. I, don't, I really don't, I don't care. You know, and I don't say that in a mean way or anything. You can see my face. I'm not saying it like, I don't care, you know, <laughs> it's not like that at all. But I personally do not feel that um, like it's well intentioned anymore, if it ever was. Um, I look at who supports it and I'm like, ooh, I don't know about this. It seems like we're all being played into being um, even more divisive in a different way. And um, it's like, wow, I don't know, it's interesting. Cause again, like I say, I look at stuff just differently, very differently. And um, I don't know, so, <laughs> um, so we were talking about that because on his page, somebody else, another black person said, um, I believe that um, black lives matter, obviously, but he said, but I also believe all, all lives matter too. And, um, you know, and that's when I, I posted the, that like picture or whatever of the um, scripture. And I was like, yeah, I agree with this, but at the same time, I do feel it's uh, something with this that's not, doesn't sit well. And, um, and then uh, I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking about other things that I don't necessarily think I want to talk about. I don't know. But regardless, I've had two situations where I've been able to, um, where people have asked different questions in a way that wasn't combative. And these are people who aren't like, they don't act all big and bad behind a computer or a phone online when they know good and well, they would behave in a different way in person. So I was able to have conversations with these people with among, you know, others. And it was good, you know, it was really good. Nobody changed their minds about anything, <laughs> you know? So again, I feel like, you know, sometimes that kind of thing is kind of fruitless, but you know, I know I pay attention to different perspectives and perhaps by what I added and the people who had the same, who came from the same perspective as I did, maybe some of those other people got a different look, you know, whether they'll admit it or not, I don't know, well, you know, whatever. So, um, hold on, I got to think about what I'm trying to say here. I don't know, but. I am, um, I feel kind of beat down with the, the lack of emotional intelligence so many possess. <laughs> it's just such a lack and people like don't even care. They don't even see all they, they can't see past their own nose and look at another side or, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like a bunch of little toddlers screaming and fighting and everything and another thing that I don't like one another reason I choose to not when I see something especially stupid that I could totally be like blah 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 you know and say something different um about I don't because sometimes people get really confident behind the camera and I mean not the camera the uh, you know the phone or the computer and so my personality is such, and I'm sure, you know, for, for those who know me, just know me, but um, my personality and stature and all that is such that I can elicit a kind of, aww, you know, kind of response, right, overall. And so people don't come at me, like, nastily most of the time, right? And so if I'm having an argument, or dispute or whatever with you online. I I have fought for so long to, because I've been so grossly misunderstood by my mother. I thought I wasn't understandable. I thought something was wrong with me. And so I have worked very, very hard 
on my clarity with regards to my speech as well as my writing. Um, I, I look at things from so many different angles and I try to really like, you know, get it right so that I can be understood because in my mind, if my own mother can't understand me, there's something wrong with me and I need to work that much harder to be understood. I ain't realized this whole time it was, it was her. But anyway, I know now. But I'm grateful that I have this because I am largely understood and seen and heard, right, by other people. So um, I just feel like, like I'm losing my freaking train of thought again there's just so many things going on in my head like I can't even tell you like how many things are swimming in my head um yeah I just I just I hate how okay I, I was gonna, talking about how I hate how people get all big and bad and um when in person they wouldn't act like that so nine times out of ten a person would be really nice and gentle with me because I'm short and you know and all that kind of stuff and I have a sweet um, disposition and it, and it's not put on it's it's me it's who I am um but um so people would you know seek to like be gentle with me in person so I'm like okay especially people that do know me and whether they've known me online for years and really do know me or know me in person um when you talk to me online, talk to me like that, like you would talk to me if we were face to face. Don't don't put on because, frankly, I'm going to come and find you. And I am not that nice if I'm that angry. So <laughs> I'm like, don't don't put on this big and bad because of, you know, I don't know why, you know, because you feeling a little safe or something, you know. So, um, yeah, I don't like that. So I'd rather not get into it when I know a person is very combative and just antagonistic and ridiculous and stuff. I'm just like, ah, right, let's just walk on by them. And um, so um, that part like trips me out. And then I was thinking, I was thinking about how a lot of, I feel, I'm gonna just say, I feel like a lot of um, black people, especially like Democrats, Democrats in the black, part black democrats have been duped into this whole idea that the second amendment is for white people and um and they're scared of guns and you know all that kind of stuff and and then i look at like these riots happening and everything and i'm like you know if a riot gets close to you and your family your your house your property your business whatever you're going to be calling the police who are going to come with their guns to protect you. And you're going to have to wait. Seriously? When you have this blaring Second Amendment right to have your firearms, like, and, but, but, but you so scared? You so, you scared? And then I'm, I don't buy, like, like, a lot of people, like, you know, oh, like, um, white people some of some of my white friends are like yeah black people are so scared to walk out their front door and i was like no i'm not no i'm not i ain't gonna sit here and act like i have not experienced racism discrimination any of those things like the profiling i'm not gonna sit here and act like i haven't but i am not afraid to walk out my front door and you best believe if somebody come over here with some foolishness i'm ready okay because I know my rights. So I just like there's so much dupement. So many people have been duped <laughs> into so many different like ways of thinking about things that just don't make sense. You know, like I'm like, this sounds just like the little bit that I know of the whole like Hitler situation where they <laughs> You know, people had the right to the bear arms, I think. And then and they took away all the guns. At first they take away all the guns and then who was screaming? Yes, gun gun like yeah. it just this stuff doesn't make sense to me. To me, it's a blaring neon light and it's like 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 you know and but 
people don't see it and and okay you know but i see it and i'm not i'm not falling for for the okie doke i'm not i'm gonna protect my family at all costs and i don't apologize for that and um yeah i don't know so many things and so i think um i might have been unpopular enough for a video but um i'm watching these animals by my uh garden over here um yeah i hope you're well i hope huh. i don't know i hope we get it together and i just i pray for um people's eyes to really be opened and the scales to come off for all of us because i know i'm sure i got some scales too you know so in some you know some area or another so but i'm willing to admit that whereas so many people they feel like they have all the answers they you know they know it all and they're so adamant <laughs> and it's so like i'm like <laughs> you sound stupid <laughs> oh god I don't know, but it's like, I love these people. But at the same time, it's like, eh, I don't know. But the lady that I had to let go, though, I, I, um, she was doing too much. She was assuming like, my affiliations and alignments and all that kind of stuff. And just she was jumping out there too much. And I don't like when anybody starts to like kind of like um, or starts to like personally attack people especially people that they don't know like because frankly like really like very few people if that person was standing right there in front of their face would just fly off the handle like that and so i'm like conduct yourself as if they were right there in front of you you might disagree with them but i doubt you would just be you know calling them all kinds of names and doing all you know i don't like that and i don't like it for the people that i support or the people that i don't support i don't like it period because it's all wrong you know so i, I have a very um uh, strong sense of justice and it does not include me um taking sides where like t wrong is wrong that's how i feel and i don't apologize for that so on that note i'll end the video <laughs> thanks for watching bye